Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Hope you had a good, safe memorial holiday, giving thanks to those that have given their lives for the protection of our country. Today is Tuesday, May 28, 2024. At 6.51 a.m. local time, there was a magnitude 4.1 earthquake, oh, about 30, 33 uh, miles from Toya, Texas. It is a remote location. Five people said they did feel this earthquake. Um, Carlsbad. We had one report from there. Intensity level 5. Wow. So they would have had some breakage. Intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people. Breakage of dishes maybe. A windows. Cracks in the plaster. Tall objects would have fallen over. Surprisingly, because that's one of the farther reports. We got another one here. Um, intensity level 2. That would have been um, Seminole, Texas. Let's see, a little bit closer to where it happened. Intensity level 3 at Loving. And um, Pecos, intensity level 3. I don't see anything uh, towards the south. There was one report that said, oh, we got one over here. Um, El Paso, intensity level 2. Anyways, there was one report that said it felt like um, movement from left to right. Well, what direction are you standing? How long did the earthquake last? Here's a moment tensor ball. Uh, the earthquake came from directly below the ground. We got spreading here. Tension was applied going north. This area is capable of having large earthquakes. Let's see. Um, okay, uh, 2020, a magnitude 5.0. Uh, we got some more down here. Uh, 2022, a 5.4. Um, 2023, last year, a 5.3. And that was on November 8th. You might hear my cat meowing. I don't know why they're meowing. And you can see here I got... Um, a fault line drawn out. I don't have the name of the fault line. Okay. Well, we do have the Greenville front down over here. And you can see that one goes all the way up. Um, going from west to probably uh, northeast. As you know, any earthquake can be a foreshock for something much larger. And there has been eight within the last 24 hours in this location. We got a 2.9, um, 7.7 .7 kilometers, a 3.9, 8.0 kilometers, another 2.9, a 3.3, a 2.9, 2.6, and a 3.0. 145 earthquakes within the last 24 hours, but some of those are over here towards the east. Let me zoom in to just this location. 82 in the last month. Yeah, you're a rockin'. Yeah, more recently it looks like um, a 2.0, um, an aftershock, a 2.1. Um, both of those are about 4 kilometers in depth or uh, 2.6 miles. And the other one's 2.5 miles. Yeah, it's currently almost 9 o'clock, 8.44 a.m. Um, local time. I'm the same time as what they have there. If I sound tired, I am. Still working on my first cup of coffee. I did get uh, several cups of coffee bought for me on my uh, little app that I have posted. Yeah, I'm working on it. Thank you very much. And I also got several PayPal donations. God bless you. You guys are angels of the Lord. Yep, thank you very much. Hopefully everyone there is earthquake prepared, especially with all the recent shaking that's been going on in the last month. You still could get a larger earthquake in this location. So not everyone sends in reports to USGS. Um, did you feel this earthquake? And did you have damage? Um, yeah, someone had damage. I would like to know, was it the walls? Or was it something that got knocked over? And how did your pets react? Maybe uh, your 
cats are like mine or your dogs were barking. Yeah, meowing and mark barking. Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and make sure you're still subscribed. It's the end of the month and YouTube's going to start unsubscribing people from their favorite channels once again. Yeah, maybe they think you're um, a troll or a bot. I don't know. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.